Want to know how to create AI influencers and earn money with them? Then you've come to the right place. I provide you with all the tools you need. Uncensored, unlimited. No expensive third-party websites. Everything runs locally and best of all, you don't even need a high-end graphics card to generate images and videos. All you need are my workflows, scripts and templates. Today you'll learn how to generate your first data set consisting of around 40 images. In the next video, you will train your first LoRa model so that your influencer looks the same in every picture. But I wouldn't be simple AI if I didn't give you an additional tool that you can use to get started without a LoRa model. So sit back, watch the video to the end, and then you can get started right away. Step 1. To avoid expensive graphics cards, we use runpod.io, where you can rent a GPU from abroad. Don't worry, the whole thing is super simple. And the price is worth it. You can get a really powerful graphics card for just 33 cents per hour. With one dollar, you can theoretically generate content for one to two months. I recommend you top up your credit with ten dollars. You can do this by credit card, or if you don't have one like me, by crypto. Get the Crypto.com app, purchase via PayPal USDC worth $10 and pay directly via the integrated pay function. Then enter the link to my RunPod template in the address bar and click on Deploy. Important, you can find the link on my Patreon. Don't worry, I'm not trying to rip you off. For just €4.99, Euros and 99 cents, you get access to all the templates, workflows and scripts that will make your work much easier. The development of these tools is time-consuming. Your support helps me to continuously improve everything and keep it up to date. After clicking on Deploy Pod, select Community Cloud. Choose a graphics card, e.g. RTX 4090 or RTX 6000. Click on Deploy with Demand. Congratulations, you have rented your first GPU. Now you can sit back and relax. My setup script automatically downloads ComfyUI and JupyterLab in the background. This takes about 10 minutes. Short digression. Comfy UI is your user interface in the browser. This is where you control all workflows and see your results. JupyterLab is the file system. This is where you can find all the files you need, run scripts and manage your projects. Step two, click on connect and then open JupyterLab. Double click to navigate to the workspace folder. On my Patreon, you will find the file simpleworkflows.zip. Simply drag and drop it into the workspace folder. Then open the terminal and enter the following command. The password is also on Patreon. After a few seconds, a new folder will appear. Open it and go to the simple text to image subfolder. Now close the terminal and open it again. Then enter the following command. This script I have written automatically installs all the necessary workflows, custom nodes and models for Comfy UI. Now it's time to sit back and wait. The installation takes about 15 minutes. Step three, now click on connect and then on Comfy UI. At the top of the menu, click on manager and then on restart Comfy UI. Close the tab and wait about a minute until Comfy UI has completely restarted. As soon as the restart is complete, open Comfy UI again. You should now see all the necessary workflows in the workflow folder and you are ready to go. Step 4. Open the text to image fast workflow. You will now see a so-called vending machine. This is the technical term for the visible tangle of cables on your screen. This vending machine is already pre-configured. In theory, you could click run directly and generate a first image. Important. In this area, you set your base model and define how much certain LoRa models should influence the result. I have personally achieved the best results with the current settings. 
However, I recommend that you experiment a little. Please note, some models, you can find them on Civit AI, censored and uncensored, for example, require so-called trigger words. These words must be included in the prompt for the model to become active. Short digression. What is flux? Like stable diffusion, flux can be seen as your basic model for image generation. LORIS are models that act as a kind of plug-in. They tell your base model in which direction the generation should go. Once you have made your settings, go to the prompt area. Copy the existing prompt and paste it into ChatGPT with the following note. Now set the number of tasks to eight or more and click on Run. Congratulations, you have just created your first images with your own local workflow. Now go to JupyterLab then to Comfy UI then to Outputs and download the best image. This image will form the basis for your first data set. A little piece of advice, make sure you don't fall in love with your influencer. Step five, now open the face to image workflow. In this section, you select your base model and the desired LoRa models as before. Play a little with the values and models for a realistic result or select my settings. With this workflow, you can already generate high quality content for Instagram even without your own LoRa model. The principle, you enter a picture of a person as input, the workflow analyzes the face and creates a new picture with the same face. In the prompt area, you determine what the output should look like, pose, clothing, mood, surroundings, etc. Important, please use this tool responsibly. Do not create images of real people without their express consent. We are now using this workflow to diversify our data set. Be creative. Create pictures in different poses with new hairstyles, outfits or settings. Use your customized prompt from the previous step. Have ChatGPT create several variants for you to get some variety. Drag your base image into the load image area and generate around 20 high quality images. Attention. The first time you start the workflow, you will see this error message. It occurs because a zip archive from GitHub was unpacked incorrectly. But this is easy to fix. Go to the Comfy UI folder, then to Models. In Sightface, Models, Antelopev2, Antelopev2. Mark all files by Control plus left click, right click, and then click on Cut. Go back one folder, right click, and then click on Paste. Click on Run Again. Step 6. Open the Simple Dataset Workflow. Important. Use this workflow to create the basis of your dataset for a consistent, recognizable character. Make the following settings. Enter the name of your influencer here. Select your desired models and LoRa's. Important. Set Flux 1-Dev-F16 as the base model. Otherwise, the workflow will only generate noise, as not all models and nodes are compatible with each other. Go to the prompt area and simply insert the prompt from step 4. For better results, revise the prompt with GPT and tell it to describe certain features in more detail. Now click on Run and sit back. If an error message appears, simply wait 20 seconds and click on Run again. This is often due to an overloaded GPU memory. This happens occasionally and is nothing to worry about. If the error appears again, I recommend that you select the L40 as your GPU, as this workflow is very memory intensive. If your images look too artificial or unrealistic, adjust your model settings as I do here and run through the process again. The workflow goes through several steps and improves your images bit by bit. Don't stress if not all the images are perfect. We'll sort them out later and only keep the best ones. You won't need them all. The rule is quality before quantity. Please note, if you carry out step 6 before step 5, you will receive the same error message as in step 5. Don't worry, the solution to the problem remains the same. Remark, 
If you want to try it out a bit, you can switch a node on and off by right-clicking on a node and then clicking on Bypass. This is useful if you want to skip certain processes. Step 7. Create a new folder on your desktop and name it Database. Open JupyterLab, navigate to Comfy UI and open a new terminal. Enter the following. Then download the newly created output .zip file. Extract the zip in your database folder and delete all bad images. Step 8. Open the simple inpainting workflow. Upload an image that you want to correct. Right-click on the image, select Open Outmask. Now select the areas you want to adjust, for example, hands, faces or other details. Write a short, appropriate prompt that describes how the selected area should look. Set the tasks to 5 and click on Run. Note, you may need several attempts until the result meets your expectations, but believe me, patience and image quality definitely pay off for LoRa training. Once all the images have been corrected, you can use the same workflow to creatively expand your dataset. For example, highlight clothing or hairstyles and change them with new prompts. Let your creativity run wild. Step 9. Once you have about 40 to 50 pictures, you are ready to train your first LoRa model in the next video. Remember, too many pictures lead to overfitting. Our character will look the same in all the pictures. Too few pictures leads to inconsistency. She looks different in every picture. The golden mean is crucial here. Click on pods, stop pod and terminate pod. If you forget to terminate your pod, a small amount will still be deducted from your credit. Attention! After termination, all data will be deleted from Jupyter Labs. Congratulations! You have created your first AI influencer and prepared your data set for LoRa training. In the next video, I'll show you how to train your own LoRa model, step by step. Until then, I recommend you use the workflows creatively Test new control values and combinations. Create your Instagram account and post your first images. For example, with the face-to-image workflow. And if you have completed my Patreon membership, you will get exclusive access to our private Instagram group. There you can exchange ideas with other creators, start collaborations and grow faster. Homework. Find out how you can integrate other LoRa models into your workflows. Tip, you can find thousands of models on Civit AI, including uncensored ones. Many of them are available on Hugging Face or GitHub. You can use the Jupyter Terminal to integrate them directly into your folders via Git clone or download. If you get stuck, ask ChatGPT, it's the most effective way to learn. In the upcoming videos, I will provide you with a practical script that will help you to integrate such models automatically. See you in the next video.